Welcome to another Field of Glory 2 battle. This match is part of the Tiny Tourney, hosted by Carbon of the Slytherin Forums. It's 600 point armies on very small battlefields. Uh, the army I'll be using for this tourney is Indian Hindu North. It was my second choice. My first choice was Byzantines, and I didn't quite get it. Here I'm facing Challenge 1 with his Dailami and Armenian allies. So, let's take a look at the field. Well, Obviously, this giant hill is what we'll be fighting over. The question is, what can we do to hold it? We'll want elephants. And Indian archers. Probably quite a few Indian archers with the melee infantry to back up and Indian lancers on the edges. So with 192 points remaining, the question is, what else do I bring? Let's look at the Dilami list. Elephants, lancers, armored cavalry, the Dilami foot are the scariest part. Uh, impact medium foot is going to be difficult for me to deal with. The alternative to my contesting this hill is to make a stand here. Uh, that might be desirable actually because the Indian army relies on missile fire. And if we go here, we'll end up Let's see. So we'll end up fighting it out around here, which is fairly even, unfortunately. And I'm not sure how interested I am in an even battle. Oh well. Right, so a little unusual, but we're gonna to try to use our elephants to zone control lock and our cavalry for the same thing with the archers in support. I'll grab light javelin horse for each wing. I'm gonna I'm gonna give up on the idea of fighting defensively here. Um, yeah, I just don't think that sounds very fun. Probably not a very good thing to base your strategy on. Hmm. Superior Lancers. The swing. That leaves us with 24 points. Light Javelins. Okay, I spent way too long thinking about this, and I did play around with the defensive deployment back here, but ultimately I'm just going to settle on head-on advance onto this hill. Elephants to engage the impact foot, hopefully, with archers to disrupt those that try to hold out in rough ground, and a follow-up wave of Indian close fighters, which are light spear swords. They won't be able to stand up to the Dailami head-on, but if they're disrupted, it might be okay. Finally, this is height 100, so anyone coming from the sides will be very hard pressed, even against archers. So what we might do is narrow our advance and sort of have a U shape outward and allow ourselves to get flanked and attempt to win by the sheer shock of elephants in the center. The difficulty will be these four patches of rough ground, but we'll just have to deal with it. Next turn. Okay, looks like we're going to meet right on top of this hill.
This keeps our elephants out of close range fire from these archers when they move forward. Simple enough. Next turn. Spreading out, that's fine. We'll compress inward then. bad news. That means they're going to have a better chance to disrupt our elephants. Stay on the mountain. Consider what to do with these Indian Lancers in a little bit. Next turn. He's giving up the hill. So we'll have to find a way to attack him on flatter ground. them away. And let's do some harassment on the Lancers. From the safety of our hill, of course. Good. Clear the way and then consider our next steps. We need to find a way to attack his main body without being hit too hard by surrounding four units of cavalry. Next turn. Well, at this point, I think we need to push forward far enough that he can't fall back without taking cohesion checks.
Very good. And our infantry will follow up. So we need to be a little cautious. These cavalry are going to get around our rear, so we might need to start stationing archers in the rough. All right, next turn. Okay, here we go. Perfect, perfect. Now we need to push, and of course now he needs to push. It's all about to get very interesting. The question is, how much do I want to contribute archery into his infantry before contact, and how much do I want to turn my archers around to confront his cavalry? Well, first off... Do need to follow up to prevent flank charges. But I would like to send my melee infantry in support, so I think. Let's see, four units, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we don't want to contribute any more. Let's cover these archers and go for a good charge. Held firm, so we'll lose in the melee, but that's okay. So now it's kind of a gamble. We need to try to win here without getting our few melee units outflanked while not getting crushed from behind. LOL? Hmm. Indeed. Good. Then we can charge here. Get a frag. Charge. Held firm. Keep up that push. And keep up that harassing fire. Maybe we can get a frag. We'll come down off the hill to continue this push. Good. Um, and our close fighters can try to hit this disrupted unit. In the meantime, which way do you run? Mm, okay, I'm all right with that. Get that plus 100 height bonus. Both spots. So these units are hopefully pinned, although there is this whole situation. So now we're down, down slope, but at least we're in rough ground with our bows. Um, and we'll encourage movement or risky fallbacks with some harassing bow fire. In the meantime, I thought I would need this unit back here, but I think we're going to go ahead and join the general push. All right, next turn. Should bounce them? Oh no. I guess they're superior and have a commander, so it kind of makes up for the 100. Ooh, is that wise? I don't think that's wise. I don't think that's wise either. 
I guess he held firm. Um, right. Yeah, so if you look at this, it's pretty brutal because it's uh, no, no POA for swordsmen against elephants. And then, of course, medium foot, even veterans, medium foot have a tougher time with cohesion checks. But we're going to lose these Lancers then. Next turn, we can be in a position to start showering these noble lancers with arrows. Well, showering might be a bit strong with low ammo. But maybe there won't be a next turn, depending on how this wraps up. Next turn. Very nice. Should bounce. Yep. That's just going to be horrendous, but that's okay. There we go. Straightforward enough. Uh, so clearly, the key factor is this hundred height hill. Um, you know, the extra POA allowed my inferior troops to bounce good lancers. In addition, uh, coming close and then falling back was bad because that put his infantry within cohesion check range, which caused a mass collapse here. Obviously, if these Dailami had been able to get in amongst my archers, they would have just slaughtered them. Perhaps more than falling back and taking the horrible cohesion checks, a dangerous but plausible move would have been to simply attack my elephants with Dailami foot at the cost of losing those three units, but then slipping past with the broken zones of control to get in amongst the archers and slaughter them. Given the numbers disparity, it still would have been quite difficult. Um, otherwise, not approaching this hill at all maybe would have been a good call. Just kind of lining up here. But unfortunately, with the elephants and the archers, he couldn't stay static forever. Uh, the Dailami is generally a very strong list, though. Um, maybe... The Dailami can get Arab allies, which include lots of cheap Lancers, and I think that would have been a good call. Granted, they can't fight the Elephants, but cheap Lancers, especially cheap Light Lancers, can be really devastating against these Indian Archer lists, as uh, Jan Zanzibar is demonstrating in another match right now. So I think, ultimately, with this kind of map, he needed a different army than he was able to get. And, you know, not having a horrible terrain disparity would also help. But yeah, a good game to challenge one. Again, this has been a match in the Little Wars tourney organized by Caravan of the Slytherin Forums. So a good game, and until next time.